Hello, this is Mesh, and welcome to an early look of a title called Between the Stars. This was going to be a review video, or so I thought. I received this title, this key for this game, thinking it was going to be a review copy, but was quickly disappointed to find it was just a demo. So this very same demo that is available to everyone on Steam. So instead of watching this video, you could just quickly download the game yourself and skip this video entirely. It really makes a review futile and irrelevant when all we have is a demo version. So ultimately, what is the point of this video? A non-review review video? Is this pointless to up upload to YouTube? In my defense though, it would be akin to 90% of all content uploaded to YouTube. But in all seriousness, we can extrapolate a fair amount of detail from a demo. But take it all with a grain of salt, as the final game could dramatically change from the demo we currently ever have access to. The demo is always a way to encourage Kickstarters and get more financial backers, so that's what this is for them. So if you like what you see with this demo, go ahead and check out their Kickstarter page. As this game can still be funded to allow them to expand on more features. It has reached its goal, but with more fund funding, they are adding more features. Okay, so what do we have so far in this demo? A very vibrant visual experience. The graphics for this demo are really good. The game looks fantastic. The ship models, the explosions, the planets, the entire space environment is a very polished and it looks spectacular. An awesome feature, which I really thought was a nice touch, is a photo mode, which helped me taking pictures of the game for thumbnails and things like that. So you can pause the game and really muck around with focus and positioning of the camera to get a nice screenshot. I had a lot of fun playing around with this feature, which is quite nice. The story so far in the game was simplistic, but well delivered. The voice actors, for me, seemed a little bit hit and miss. Some of them were okay, some of them felt very bland and lifeless. But let's jump into the menu system to really see what this game offers. So a game like this, uh, an action RPG, can really have a lot of micromanagement around the ship and how to maintain it. So let's just jump in and see what's going on here. Okay, so what we have here. Obviously with this user interface here, this is the main screen. So bottom left we have a shield system and it tells you the percentage of what's left there. So 22% of the main shield. Next to that we have current weapons, which is not much. Bear in mind, this is the very start of the game. So we've got the basic um, weapon there and a nuclear missile as well. And on going to the other side we have, so this is the, uh, the power system where you can balance the amount of power you want to distribute to certain things. So we have the engine, the weapon, and the shields. Okay, now what I really wanted to show you was in here. So let's go into the inventory. So here it is, it looks pretty good because we have some customization of the ship. Uh, this is, once again, this is the starting ship. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what happens to the ship, so I'll leave, leave it to you to explore this demo. But the, you know, we have customizable options in here already on from the very start. So we can chuck things on here. So let's put this drone, you know, swap this there, put that there. So it's quite interesting. Um, so we have more statistics. We have um, departments here. So you can actually build stuff. So you get the engineers to say, if you have the resources, you could build a light plasma cannon. So you could pick it up, go build, and then I can't do it at the moment because I can't do that. But then you can assign someone to it. I don't have the resources, but you can say, I want this this crew member to do this. So that is cool. We've got a scrapping so we can scrap things we pick up. We can fix, um, you know, there's a sick bay for medical, um, the research lab for ongoing research. Well, that's kind of locked out at the moment. We don't see much in there. Crew members, we can even upgrade the crew members. So, you know, a lot of customization options. Tasks, there's, I think that's kind of, I guess you could say quests. So when you have, when you're given a task to do, it'll show up here. Um, and it expands a little bit as well when you go into a, sh a shipping area. So if you actually manage to make it to a safe zone and dock your ship, you'll get a little bit more information where you can, I guess, trade. But I guess what I wanted to show you in here primarily is, now when I see this page, it concerns me. A few years ago, I would have not even thought twice about this page. But just with the current climate of gaming, it really puts me on edge. And don't get me wrong. It could be completely innocent. All the loot crates and in-game currency 
remain unsullied. So here we have the in-game currency, things we need to slowly work on and mine, and that's all fine. And we also have these salvage pods. So we click on that and go open. And what do we get here? We get some credit. We get some stuff. And that's how oh, we also get you know these items here, which we can swap across. But my paranoid side looks at this page and it sees opportunities. It sees opportunities to sneak in in-game purchases and loot boxes and microtransactions. And this isn't helped by the fact that the developer have renamed these storage storage pods and they were initially called loot boxes or loot, crate or loot pods. But as I said, it could all be very innocent. But this is just the unfortunate scenario that we're in. Bite the hand that feeds. The gamers are the hands. And we've been bitten so many times. And we all get a little hesitant as soon as we get anything like this in game. But once again, it could be very innocent. And also, I can't find any previous information with this developer, which really doesn't help alleviate my paranoia. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the game. So I've talked about the game visually, the user interface, the actual gameplay and the combat is very intuitive. It's very easy to pick up and play and the controls work nicely. So you, whilst you could play it on normal mode and really destroy anything that moves, you feel very powerful. The controls actually feel complex enough also to be able to challenge you on higher difficulties. And this demo does have a higher difficulty. So controlling those power I was talking about before, so you could redirect the power to the engines or to the weapons or to, or to the shields. Also, that customizable ship could be a lot of fun. You know, the bigger ships you get, the more customizable slots you get. It, it is, it's room for um, a lot of micromanagement there, and it could be a lot of fun. So this demo, I did really enjoy it. Visually, gameplay, the menus, the story, the in-depth potential of the micromanagement of the ships. The demo does really excite me about what this game could be. But as I said, this is a demo. A demo that is asking for funding on Kickstarter. So if, you, if this game is something that you want, the Kickstarter is there, but it is that leap of faith. Or alternatively, just add this to your Steam list. Check out the reviews when it's released. So it is supposedly released on Q1 of 2019. But for now, I'll leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some feedback below. What do you think? Have you played the demo? Did you enjoy it? Have you even backed them in the Kickstarter? Interested to hear feedback. But until next time, this is Mesh, and I'll see you later.